Уважаемые поклонники боевых искусств, представляем ваше внимание трехраундовый супербой промежуточной весовой категории до 62 килограммов. Залимбек Амару, выступая в клуб Fight Eagle города Хасаюрт, бишь на турнире М1 Челлендж Ингушетии битвы Нарто. Мой соперник, бразилец Дига Дайола, родивый достойный соперник, смотрел его бои и борется, идет. Я надеюсь, будет интересный бой. Я планирую драться со стойкой. Могу и перейти партию. Смотря как удобно, в ринге видно бой. Я специально перешел на легчайшую свою категорию, что есть такой разговор, если я выиграю, это бой, следующий бой могут быть за пояс. Поэтому я перешел. Желаю своего соперника биться достойно, показать хороший бой, бою видно будет. Залимбек, мне пошло коучал финализар. Спереду вы уже препараты. Вы все у кампиона салют. Спортсмен в синем Гурыджа из Бразилии. Приветствуйте, Диего Да!
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 Challenge catchweight bout. Now, introducing your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 28 years old. He weighed in at 64 kilograms. He stands 170 centimeters tall and has a record of 15 wins with five losses. He is a BJJ and Luta Livre black belt. He is multiple time state champion in BJJ and national Luta Livre champion. Representing first MMA management team from Brazil, Diego Davila. Now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 27 years old. He weighed in at 61.5 kilograms. He stands 173 centimeters tall and has a professional record of seven wins, one loss and one draw. He is master of sports in combat sambo, regional MMA champion and medalist of the National Pancration Championship. Representing Fighting Eagle from Russia, Zalimbeg Omarov. Your referee for this bout, Magomed Sultan Akhmedov. Три раунда по пять минут. Затылок не бьем. Головой не бьем. Пожали руки. Павло. Diago Davela faces Zalibek Omarov from Dagestan. For not making the weight. Спортсмен в синем углу рыжа начинает поединок с желтой карточкой. Диего Давела, before the fight starts, gets shown a yellow card for not making weight properly yesterday, which means he gets deducted 20 percent of his purse and the point, but starts off with a big uppercut here and fast pace in the beginning of the round. Oh, nice uppercut with a left hook followed on. But Omarov fires back, stays dangerous. Devella looks like he's having fun out there, he's smiling at his opponent. Yeah, he's a fighter hard. Oh, Devella, great hands as well as great groundwork. While Omarov is attacking with looping right hands. And another one. Just missing the mark. Omarov is riding a five-fight winning streak right now. Devella looking to snatch it. Devella working the body. Devella is looking really good. I mean, Devella's doing great standing up, but if he wants it to the ground, he should use the forward momentum of Omarov to slip underneath and take him down. There you go, he could shoot there. Yeah, well, the ground game definitely the bread and butter of Diego de Vela as he's a BJJ black belt, Brazilian champion, Luta Livre. Oh, a, tags him with the left hook. It looks very he's good in the stand up there. That's a big right hand. Another hard right and another left. That overcoat is catching the mark. Decides to go for the takedown but misses it. Well, Omarov needs a takedown because he's getting lit up here in his striking department. He's coming in from Omarov. Devella trying to look for the guillotine. Trying to slide his hands in. Gets the takedown though. Omarov on top. And Devella is a dangerous from his back. Well, you would think being a BJJ black belt, this is the best position he can be in if he's on his back. You need your opponent in the guard. There's more submissions from this position than any other position on your back. Let's not disappoint. Let's see what the black belt holds. Not a very active guard. He goes on a switch for the arm. He's trying to turn to the side. Missed it. Rob softening Devella up with short punches to the body. And a referee, Zutan Akhmedov, calling for action. 
But that's the difference between MMA and BJJ. BJJ, you got all the time in the world to work for a submission because you don't fear the punches. Yeah, in MMA, you just get hit in the face. And Devella just experiences that right now as Omarov is upping the ante here. Oh, nice landing by big Omarov. Shots. Trying to sweep under for the knee. Gets his arm trapped in the meantime. Not a bad position for Omarov. Trapping his arm like that needs to be careful with the triangle. This is it. Yeah, the Vela wanted to go for the arm bar. Almost found himself in the leg lock. He tried to pass the legs here instead of just Oh, he got tied with a kick. Them. Exactly. In the plata. Tried it. Now going for the arm, but doesn't have the right ankle. Now Omarov in half guard. Twenty seconds left in that first round. Omarov has a sambo background, so his leg locks should be very, very dangerous as well. And something to look out for for Diego Davela. Davela's moving well from his back, but not well enough to finish his submission or win this round. Well, Omarov finishes strong. First round definitely goes to him. Yeah, he had problems in the beginning, got tagged by Davela, but managed to turn things around and finish strong in the first round. Here we go with a few highlights in that first round. You see him smiling, Diego Davela. And he had lots of smile at the beginning, landing hard shots over and over again. But as the round went on, it was over of who took over and was able to turn things around. As we can see right here, hard shots from top position. <laughs> Good finish for Omarov that very well could have given him this round. Second round underway. Well, let's see if Tavella works on that great striking ability that he had. Didn't have any look from his back. smaller man but looked way better in the striking than Omarov at the beginning. Let's say he's the shorter man, not the smaller man. Yeah. Because he weighed in heavy. <laughs> well, that was a safe dip. Kept all of the whiz that stopped him getting turned over. Oh nice body kick by Davella answered by a hard right hand by Omarov. That caught the Brazilian clean. Nice knee by Omarov. Yeah, Devela's trying to get the takedown again. Devela has to be careful when he's coming in. He's been too reckless here and gets caught. Oh, he just throws into the canvas. He is Devela. reckless. He's jumping jump in with a knee. But it was wildly done. Clinching Davala up against the corner, attacking with short knees to the thigh. He needs to do a bit more. Otherwise, those fighters will get separated soon. Davala trying to answer with body shots. 
Break it free, that's a little bit better. Oh, nice super good again by Tavella. Really nice He's boxing by the Brazilian. Former of more of a wild puncher with blue pink swinging shots. Tavella next to the cow popping his head down like that. Every time he goes in, it's He's kind of going down to the level of a double, but not doing anything with it. Nice body kick though by Cabell. Nice left hand by Cabella. He should use his combinations more because they land. That's a nice one too. Kick to the body to follow. Body is the Brazilian. He's got good striking, he's just a little bit sloppy with it. Yeah. Tidies up a bit, could, you know, he could be dangerous. There's that other cut. A bit too reckless. But Omarov, until now, not able to capitalize on it. Oh, oh big right uppercut! And Omarov went down immediately. He's been throwing that uppercut all fight. Finally managed to catch him. He wants to get him while he's on weak legs. And again! And another and one! Oh, and over oh. is outstanding. This he's fight out, he's done. is over. He needs to be careful not to get tied up. This fight needs to be stopped, Ian. Over was outstanding. Trying to defend on instinct here by Davella. Davella trying to go for the rear naked choke. Yeah, he's trying to slap on a rear naked choke. Umarov needs to try and tie him up. I don't think Umarov knows where he is now. Nah, that's it, it's in. It's in deep. It's in tight. That should be over. Oh, he's defending though. He's trying to pull the arm down. Can't he's got Omarov he's out, he's out, he's out, he's out. No, he's, he's out. out. He's, he's going to sleep. Omarov just went to sleep in a rear naked choke by Diego Davella. What a dominant finish by the Brazilian. He grabbed the arm and looked like he was trying to escape, which he was. But just at the moment he grabbed the arm, he fell asleep. He went limp. Doesn't take much. Lack of oxygen to the brain. Omarov got rocked two times badly with those big uppercuts by the Vela and eventually finished with the big rear naked choke. Huge win for the Brazilian here. Who trains at Impacto Gym in Stuttgart, Germany. that it has become home to a lot of promising Brazilians who have made a big impact here at M1 as has developed in this victory. Diego Davela, a force to be reckoned with here at M1, this needs to properly make weight the next time. Great striking, dangerous grappling, well-rounded, dangerous fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 52 seconds of the second round, we have a winner. By the way of rear naked choke, Diego Davila! Diego Davila, the winner of this fight. Great sign of sportsmanship here. Great show of respect. And with this nice scene, I say goodbye to you. Tune in next time. We saw a great show. See you next year at M1 Challenge at 74. Bye-bye.